Hi, everybody. I'm actually on time. I thought I would be late. We had a small issue to deal with. Y'all come in and introduce yourself. Hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Whoops. Y'all jump on the chat there. Everybody say hi. I look like a ghost. Hello, Tammy. Hello, hello. Let me adjust this a little bit. I think I knocked something crooked when I got up. We had a nosebleed situation we had to deal with really quickly. Hi, Tabitha. Hi, Tammy. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Pretty soon I should be seeing my moderators. We have two moderators today. We have uh, Brittany and Aaron. They're going to be our moderators. And I'm using my camera that is on my computer, so it is not good, but I don't have a camera yet that I can use for um, live videos. Plus, I'm in the basement and we live in the sticks, so I don't have very good signal. So just kind of preface by saying that. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Welcome. So, ladies, so far um, that are here, tell me, how did you find out about this live? Did you see it on Instagram or on Facebook? Hey, Renee. How did you see this? When did uh, you discover that we were going to do a live? Facebook, Instagram? Did you see it in your notifications from the channel? I'm trying to get an idea of what works best for everybody. Hey, Trish. Welcome. I'm so glad you could come. Facebook and notifications. Okay. Hey, Aaron, there's our wrench. There's one of them. Brittany should be hopping on in a bit. She's got little ones in the house, so it takes a while to get everything settled. I had a wonderful, wonderful fourth. I got to have family in and we had a huge water slide and the kids just went nuts. We had five little ones and some big ones going down the big hill into the lake. It was hilarious. It was a lot of fun. Instagram and notifications. Okay. Is this going to be a rewatch? Yes, it'll be. Um, yeah. Hey, Brittany. There's our other wrench. We have our moderators in the house. Trish, you need a moderator or a water slide? <laughs> Ours was easy. Ours was so easy. We have a big hill anyway. So then we took some um, tarps, like the plastic bisqueen type stuff. I don't know if that's what they call it anymore, but we had that and we rolled it out. My sister had bought last year, I think, 100 feet of it. And then we added on another like 50 or 100 feet and it went way down. It was perfect. It is perfect, especially when it's raining because then it's very slippery. And then baby shampoo, that's even better. Yeah, water slide, yes. Oh, no heel. Look, Trish, when we get a certain age, we have to have gravity work with us to pull us down the hill. You know, down. We go down pretty easy. It's coming back up. That's the struggle. <laughs> hey, everybody. We got lots of ladies in here. What's everybody having for supper tonight? What y'all having for supper? Aaron, the little ones are upstairs running amok. And I told them. Yes, I told them. Thank you, Trish. Thank you. I know it, it took a while 
And it took a lot of advice and tips from people. And thank you for helping me also, definitely. Um, it took a lot, but I got over a thousand subscribers now. We're 1200 ish right now. I think 1250 the last time I looked. And then I have like 42, almost 43,000 watch hours. So that's very exciting. Yes. And then I applied for partnership and I got the news today that I'm in the clear and I've got my AdSense all set up. So I am ready to roll with monetization. Are y'all doing the happy dance with me? Let's do it. Renee, you're having breakfast and I see tacos and leftovers. Leftovers are good. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Thank you, Trish. Y'all, Trish um, is crafting cousins down there in the chat. And she taught me about the importance of being on Instagram. And then Brittany is teaching me how to use Instagram effectively. So that's pretty awesome. I'm trying to learn how to advertise and tie everything together so that, um, you know, that the channel will have some growth and that it will uh, you know, get lots of attention because I have lots of ideas and a lot of things I want to share. And of course, the money is a really good part. It's nice to be able to earn some money for your family. But knowing that something that I create out of my head and it comes to my hands and then other people are inspired by that just brings me a ton of joy. I love that. I love it. You are not an Instagram idiot. No, you're not. Brittany, are the kids covered in taco? I bet they are. <laughs> so I am seeing that it is 6.07 on my clock. And I'm going to learn where to look eventually. Um, I do have a new little bitty ring light up there. That's pretty awesome. Um, it's kind of taking some of my crow's feet and wrinkles away a little bit. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, my schedule, three times a week. I try to do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday situation, but when I have collaborations or things like that, challenges, I go by whatever their schedule is. And I try to space my videos out at least, a, you know, a day in between my videos and give them some room to breathe. Oh, thank you. I got a super chat from Crafting Cousins. Thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. My first live after being monetized and I got a super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. So schedule three times a week is still going to be that way. I try to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but you never know. But if you're subscribed and you have the little bell with the quotes around it, you'll get notified each time there's something new out there. So you'll know when it's coming. I'm going to try to be better on Instagram about advertising when videos are coming up as well. Um, I will be starting my fall DIYs very soon. We're going to be starting those. Um, my favorites video from crafts that I've done in the past. They're going to be posting Wednesday. And then on Monday, I'm going to do a new fall video. So that's exciting. I'm real excited about that. Some people don't understand the, you know, it's summertime. Oh my gosh, I'm just not ready for fall sort of thing. But you got to understand for Crafters who like to save money, we have got to get the stuff when we see it. Dollar Tree puts their stuff out early, and if we don't get it, the store sells out. They don't restock like maybe Hobby Lobby or some other stores do. So we got to get it when we see it. Plus, I thrift all year long, and if I see something for use in the fall in December, I'm going to get it, and I'm going to hold on to it. So that's kind of how it works. We have to plan way ahead. We want you to have everything that you need for your videos uh, you're crafting. Um, we want you to have all that together so that you can craft along with us and you'll have everything that you need ready when it's time for fall to put those decorations in your home rather than waiting till fall. And then you're trying to hurry up and craft and you don't get it done until December. So that's counterproductive, I think. <gasps> Tabitha, thank you. I got another five dollars. <gasps> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Y'all the best. I mean it. You really are the best. Thank you so, so much, Tabitha. That's awesome. Um, am I going to 
do Christmas in July. I am doing, I am going to do a video on Christmas in July. I know I have a collaboration coming up for that. I think it's on the 15th. Um, pretty sure it's the 15th. I don't have my calendar in front of me and I know I should, but I don't uh, again, but I think it's on the 15th of July. Uh, let's see. What did I have here in my notes? Oh, and I'll be doing a scavenger hunt. That is going to be um, this Saturday. So be looking for that. So Wednesday, you're going to see my videos with my fall favorites. And then Saturday, you'll see another video instead of Friday. And that's going to be a scavenger hunt with a giveaway. It's a $300 giveaway. So y'all be sure that you watch and you do everything you're supposed to do. And that's all I'm going to say about that for now. Oh, no. Renee said her phone's freezing. That's right. We Yeah. And there are lots of people who that craft, um, they craft and they sell them in craft shows and things like that. And they take special orders. They sell maybe, you know, on platforms uh, on the Internet and they need to have their things together ahead of time. So, yeah, that's a good point, Trish. And Trish does craft shows and stuff like that. So. I know. Yeah, the scavenger hunt is fun. It's fun, but I'm not going to tell you a whole bunch about that right now. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Okay, so at this time, if you guys have any questions for me, I'm open for that. Oh, I'm on the big screen. Ooh, 54 inch screen, Renee. Real big, because I didn't check my teeth before we came on. We good? Okay. Okay, so now uh, in the chat, if you have questions for me and you're watching this live, please put questions over there. I'll answer pretty much everything. You know, I don't have a whole lot of secrets, so you can put that over there in the chat. And if you're watching this afterwards and you're not watching the live, you can put any questions that you have for me down in the comment section and I will get back with you as soon as possible. What are you laughing about? Oh, my teeth. Yeah. What is my favorite food? When I was young, I used to say it was Chinese food because I love Asian food. It's really, really good. And it's probably still one of my favorites. But um, one of my favorite, it's probably going to be steaks that my husband cooks. He is a really good steak griller. Really good. Oh, and my mom's homemade soup. I got I to gotta give props to my mom. She makes a wonderful homemade vegetable soup. And no matter how many times we've watched her, we cannot duplicate it. It's really, really good. With a big old pan of cornbread. Y'all must not be as nosy as I am. Mm-hmm. Homemade soup is wonderful. Yeah, I like that sweet cornbread. I know. Yeah, and but instead of making the Jiffy cornbread like in the little muffins, like it's advertised on the box, I make it in a small iron skillet. And it's delicious. You got to heat the grease up first in the bottom of the pan. Get it all popping up in the bottom of the pan. Then you pour your batter on it and quickly stick it in the oven and cook it. Oh, man, it is delicious. So delicious. Hey, Bobby, how are you doing? Did I get your name right this time? Arrows DIY. Did I get it right? Oh, yeah, jalapenos is very good. I've never tried it in the sweet cornbread, but we love that cornbread. Mm -hmm. Cheese and jalapenos and onions. It's very good. Brittany, I do have pets. I have a dog named Honey, and she's red and white, and she loves the porch swing. DIY party food video. Hmm. Like maybe for like a Halloween type thing or... Something like that, like appetizers or DIY cookies with, I mean, something like that. Um, are you planning, Renee says, are you planning more of the space makeovers? 
reorganized spaces. Uh, yes, I'm certainly going to do that. It's not the favorite of my videos with my viewers, but I've got work to do and I may as well share that. There may be something that I do that, you know, could help somebody else out. And I've got to finish the back porch. I have not finished the screen porch. The weather has been bad. And then when the weather's not bad, I've been too busy, but I've got to get back out there. Inexpensive party food ideas that are creative. Hmm. 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 Uh, yeah. Y'all can put your links. We're still trying to figure this out now. They've never been moderators before. And I don't know what all kinds of permissions and things that they need. But if Brittany and Aaron can figure out how to put my YouTube friends uh, links in there, then go right ahead and put your, you know, have them put the links in. I don't, I think it's going to come up as like a private type thing. And then you actually have to approve it. I think that's how it pops up. <laughs> Does your family support you with this? Yes, they do. They, they do. Um, most of my family knows that I do this. I think I've said this before. I don't think, some of them understand. I don't think they get it. Um, but they haven't said anything to me negative about it. Like, why don't you get a real job? I know that happens with some people, but I've not had that experience. So it's been, it's been fine. You can use the help. Okay. All right. That's good to know. I'm going to answer that for Trish. Of course she loves spice. She's a Southern girl. We love you. Thank you, Renee. We love you too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I missed that one today. I wasn't able to do that one. But um, Renee, look up Heidi Sonbel. And there was a uh, challenge done with a whole bunch. I watched... I think I've watched three so far. I've got to fit, go my way through the list. But um, lots of ladies with lots of ideas of craft room organization. But it doesn't just have to be craft room. You know, it can be just organization in general. You can get an idea of how to store things and, and inexpensive ways to do things. Really good. The ones I saw were really good. I have not dabbled with the Cricut Maker, much to my children's dismay. My daughter swears that I told her, this is my seven years old, seven year old. She swears I told her I was going to make her something to put on her backpack. I don't remember that. I was left out of that conversation. That's usually the case. But uh, no, I have not. It is set up over there. It is set up nicely on a little table. But I have not done it yet. We've had, I got it, and then we did the live, and then I had to finish up a video for um, quickly, and then I had a project go awry, and I had to fix something, and then we had family down for a 4th of July, so I'm trying to get myself back into the routine, but then I'm definitely going to be playing with that, that thing, I promise you. Oh, it's on her home channel. Okay. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You can, Fabi, you can still do a video about craft organization. I think, and I think I'm pretty safe to say that we'll all watch it. Can you make car decals with it? I think you can. But I think you would probably have to use like um, probably have to use removable vinyl. Maybe anybody, ladies, can you make car decals with it, with the Cricut without it damaging the paint job? <laughs> Brittany said she is more than happy to try to get your link posted if y'all want to put it down there. Even if you don't see it, let her see what she can do on her side. She's pretty good with this kind of stuff. 
I do have a little bit of time. Can you believe school is starting back early August? My kids are going to be going back to school like the right outside of the first week of August. Crazy. Oh, so you would have to use permanent vinyl. Okay, so you better make sure that whatever design you pick is something you want to keep forever or until you sell the car. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. We want to share our links here. Y'all took the time to come over here and support me. Of course, we want to share. Of course. Yeah, Brittany says too. Yeah, you want to use permanent. Oh, well, obviously. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't put it on the paint. Put it on the window. Okay. Clearly, I need to learn what to do with the thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So permanent. And you could probably still take that off with a, a blade or something later if you didn't like it. Or <laughs> if you had someone like me try to put it on for you and mess it up. Put it on the window and not the paint. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> Excuse me. Y'all got to check something. Uh, yes, Aaron. Yes. It keeps knocking you off. What in the world? I want to check something really quick, y'all. I've got this balanced up here on a stack of bins, but I want to check something in my studio to see if for some reason why you can't put links in here. Let's see. Let me check my little things here. Y'all excuse me. Talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Let's see if I can figure something out. Well, it's not there. Let me close that and go here. Try this. So what kind of crafts are y'all doing right now? Anybody working on anything interesting? Are we doing summer still or is anybody working on fall yet? Before I can even do a fall design, I have got to remove the spring and summer flowers out of my flower wall and get my fall things out. And I'm so excited to see all those beautiful, rich fall colors. Honestly, I could go straight out of Christmas right back into fall. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm doing over there. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh, shabby chic. I was surprised. That's not something I do very much of, but I've done two videos with shabby chic style, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it surprised me because I've always kind of been prone to a certain style. Y'all, I'm sorry about the link situation. Hi, Diver Down Under. Granny Chic. Okay. <laughs> Where am I on the porch? The porch is clean. I've got to get the power washer on those two spots that are left on there. Um, 
that are on the floor, which I'm about ready to throw a rug on and call it a day. I was trying to do everything thrifted and things that I already had, kind of shopping my own house. I wanted to make it extremely budget friendly. Um, so I was trying to find the right rug to put in there and I couldn't find the right thing. I finally found a rug that may work. Um, I was surprised. It was a very clean, nice rug. I've got to get it out there and I have two things I need to repair. And then I'll be ready to do that video. All the cleaning is done. All that part is done. I just need to decorate it, put the pieces where I need them, you know, decorate. And then I'll be ready to put that video up. Hopefully I'll get that done. Well, I'll just go ahead and say I'm going to get it done next week. How's that? Maybe Wednesday of next week, Friday of next week, something like that. Oh, Erin, did you get her link in there? Favi, I think your link is in there. Does it work? Somebody try Favi's link there. Erin put Favi's link. See if that worked. Oh, Renee, the problem with our with doing that is it's a uh, um if you saw the other videos, the entire porch is wood. It is a wooden porch. And I don't know that that would be. I would have to paint the entire porch and deck. And at this point, we've got we've got to replace some boards on the steps and the deck anyway. So I don't think I can do that quite yet. Yay, the link worked. OK, thank you. Love you, Trish. Thank you. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Diver Down Under, what is your name? Do you mind telling us your name? I kind of like to call people by name, but that's okay. If you don't want to, that's okay too. I understand that. Oh, OK. So she can't post it herself, but if she wants it posted, you can go grab it and post it. OK. Hey, Robin. Bird's Nest buys and DIYs. I believe I've seen a video of yours. How are you? Welcome in. Nanette. OK, cool. Well, welcome, Nanette. It's nice to get to know you. I'm not, I'm telling you right now, please nobody be offended if I forget your name. I'm pretty good with recognizing faces, but n names just, they, they slip my mind. They really do. And I mean, no disrespect, no harm. I'm just not good with names. My sister, on the other hand, she's got a vault for a brain. She never forgets anything. And you know it's true. Sure, of course you're welcome. Okay, Robin, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions for me? We went over the schedule. We're still going to do three times a week, mainly Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Unless I have collaborations, then it'll be bumped around, but you should get a notification if you've got the subscribe bell with the little quotes around it. My air quotes. Um... I am starting fall DIYs early, much to Nanette's dismay. I'm sorry, Nanette. I'll try to put up other videos too, but I have to get started. Um, I have a favorites video of falls that I've done, the fall videos I've done in the past. It's coming out. That should be out about Wednesday-ish. Um, let's see. And then there's going to be a scavenger hunt that y'all need to go and watch. If you're not participating in it, you, you need to go and watch it and support those ladies. It's a $300 giveaway. So I can't tell you all the rules right now. I can't go through all that stuff right now, but suffice it to say, it's going to be great. You can find all kinds of information on Instagram about that. Let's see here. Yeah. That scavenger hunt is Saturday. It's this Saturday. Yeah, good, Robin, because that'll be both of us. Nanette on Instagram. Okay. 
Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea because I'm I'm really not good with it. And it's kind of embarrassing, actually, to not remember people's names. OK, so Nanette wants to know, do I keep the DIYs or break them down? I take that on a case by case situation. Um, some things I will break down if it's something that I've created that's not necessarily my style. I'll break that down and use it again. There are some things that I have created that I just cannot part with. Um, this, for instance, the video that I did with this, um, I cannot take this thing apart. I just absolutely love it. It surprised me so much how it came out that I just can't do it. Um, this was in a, the, a July 4th video, and all I did with it is take the 4th of July, the little gnome pick and the 4th of July sign out. And then I also took out the little um, ribbon tails that were the little red and uh, bur <laughs> red and burlap dotted ribbon that was in there. I just took it out. But this just looks so, it's so rustic and so summer to me right now. This is just, I thought it's still pretty so I'll keep this for a while. I may do something different with it for fall, but for a while I'm going to keep it. Y'all see my thumbs up that I got from Dollar Tree? My YouTuber buddies, y'all need to go get one of these. Came from Dollar Tree. See? Proof right there. Dollar Tree. So y'all give me a thumbs up, why don't you? I see four thumbs up. There's a lot more thumbs in the house, people. Okay, so where was I at? Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I know with the name thing. My next collaboration is Saturday, and that's going to be the scavenger hunt. And that's going to be... I'll be posting on that. I'll be letting you know more on that. I'm still working on my artwork for that but we'll let you know a specific time. I'm thinking it's like seven o'clock at night. Um, maybe, but don't, don't write it down like that, but I'll give you some type of a heads up for sure for that. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Thank y'all for putting their links in there. Y'all be sure you check everybody out. Robin, do you have a, um, do you, I know you do Instagram. Do you also have um, YouTube? If you do put that down in the, um, well, <laughs> I guess you can't put it anywhere. I guess the girls would have to go grab it for you. Let them know, let Brittany or Aaron know if you do have a YouTube and they can put your link in there. I know. Oh, you can hear that. Oh, what a good microphone. Check this microphone out. I got this a while back because um, I think there's something wrong with mine. My computer microphone. This is called a blue snowball. I got it on Amazon. It, it's it's really good. It's almost ASMR quality. Now, obviously, if you can hear the feet above me, we have a wooden home, so you can hear everything. Sorry about that. Yeah, fall stuff already. I know, I know. The candy line from last Christmas sign was awesome. The candy line. Which one was that? Was that the one with the candy? Are you talking about the one with the candy canes on it, Nanette? Or are you talking about the little house? The little, um, oh, I cannot think. I should have had supper before I did this. What was that? The little house. The Whoville house. Is that which one it was? I can't remember which one that was. I know. The little thumbs up, my little Dollar Tree. Look, look how similar that looks. Well, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. That could be a hand model for Dollar Tree. Uh, let's see. Feel like Shabby Chic is charming. It is. It really is. It's um it, the problem I have with that is my house is so rustic with all the woodwork and everything in it. Um, it's I got a lot of raw wood in the house and everything is so rustic looking that when I try to put something else in there, it just it looks kind of odd. Um, 
I don't know how else to explain that. I have a question about Christmas in July. Is it actual Christmas or is it like Santa in a bathing suit? <laughs> well, I don't think any of us want to see that, Robin. But no, um, it's going to be people will just do like, you know, it's it's just like little crafts. It's like a couple of days or some people do a whole month of it, but I'm not ready for that. You just do some videos of Christmas things. That way, if people want to craft ahead of time, they can go ahead and craft some Christmas things. Just trying to get you in the mood for thinking about Christmas, I think, is the purpose of it. It's the first time I've done it, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. I've got my three crafts ready for that, and I love the way they turned out. They look so cute. It is fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that from uh, Dollar Tree, creating it myself. What's your name, creating it myself? I know you probably told me before, but again, I'm not good with names. I apologize. I'm sure my um, moderators will know y'all by name eventually before I do. Virginess wants her link in there if somebody could do that for her. Yeah, it's a good microphone, and it. Um, I watch reviews on microphones. I'm going to watch reviews on everything before I buy it. That's just the way I roll, and I saw a really good review for the price range, and I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, you can find that in the, like, in the description of a lot of my videos, and y'all should also know, full disclosure here, that I am an Amazon affiliate, so I often put links. I just don't advertise it because I don't want people to feel like they need to do that um, because you don't have to. But if there's something that I'm using, I'm trying to remember to put those things like substitutes that you could use if you are not able to find them at Dollar Tree or at the thrift store um, that you can find them down, you know, easily at Amazon. It's such a, a super easy way to do it because you just press the link. It takes you straight there and then you can, you know, do all your shopping right there online. So you will see some links like that in the description box. It doesn't change the price for you at all. I just earn like a tiny bit of money off of any sales that are made. Yes, I am. I am a Dollar Tree hand model. Yep, my moderators are fast learners. Yay. Thank you, Tammy. She subscribed to the links that were dropped. That's awesome. Thank you so much. LaParsha. Am I pronouncing that right? I like that. That's pretty, LaParsha. All right. Oh, no. You're going to have to get on Grandma's phone. Uh-oh. Yeah, Tammy has followed me since the very beginning uh, on the 15th of July. That is the anniversary of my channel, my channel, uh, you know, from the first video that I did. So Tammy has been there from the very first video. So that's awesome. Props to her because she has given me so much support over this almost year journey. So and then everybody else who has watched me, you got, you girls are supporting me right now. And you watch my videos. Anytime you share a video that helps my channel. Anytime you give it a thumbs up, that helps my channel. And now that my channel is monetized, if you watch the commercials, let the commercials run through, that helps my family too. Um, it's a very small amount of money, but it adds up, you know, if it adds up, if everybody pitches in. So I always appreciate that. I don't take it for granted when somebody shows me kindnesses. LaParsha, did you have a question? Did anybody have any questions? Anything you want to know about the things that I use for crafting or what I do with crafting? Anything like that? What's for dinner for me? I have a chalupa upstairs waiting on me from Taco Bell. 
my daughter went and grabbed some lunch because I, I lost some supper because I was busy. I was all into editing a video. Rita, Rita, pretty Rita, meter maid. Okay, y'all. So what else do we need to talk about so that I don't keep y'all on here all night long on a weeknight? Um, what else do we need to talk about? Collaborations. Y'all be sure that you're checking your notifications. I have a community tab now on my YouTube channel. So you'll be seeing, you know, some community posts. I do polls over there for information to help me with deciding what kind of content to make for y'all. Um, I post pictures, advertising, stuff like that on there. Plus we can talk to each other and I can also give shout outs. I have not done that yet because I'm still new to it, but I'm going to figure it out. Do I sell my projects? I have never sold my projects. Um, lots of times I tear them apart and redo it. And, um, but to be honest with you, I have so much stuff now and my poor basement. I mean, really, my poor basement is just busting at the seams. I probably should, but shipping is so ridiculously high. It would probably be easier to just do local stuff. Maybe maybe I could do Mercari. I do have just a couple of things that are for sale on Poshmark. But, you know, if anybody has Poshmark and they're interested on, you know, using something that you see me make, I can put it on Poshmark and then you can buy it that way. Um, I mean, if you want to do that, Poshmark takes so much of the money though, it wouldn't I'd have for what you would have to charge. It wouldn't even be worth your shipping. You know, there's, there's a thing, there's a whole thing. Rita is Aaron. Well, she can't be a moderator if she is on Rita's phone. Where does my inspiration come from? Well, I have a Pinterest account. That brings me some inspiration. I get a lot of inspiration in nature. I get a lot of inspiration walking around a thrift store when I see a piece or some florals or something like that. That will inspire me. Um, I do support not as not as much as I used to, but I do try to support my fellow YouTubers. And I'll see things that they do that make me think, hmm, I could do my own spin on that. So I do that. If I ever... I never copy anybody to the T. If I was ever to do that, they would definitely be getting a shout out for that, um, for being an original creator. That's important. You shouldn't, you know, you should give people credit for their creativity. I, actually, I think I have done that a couple of times. A couple of times. Thank you for that question, Renee. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. Well, ideally, I use my mic for voiceovers and I try to do that when my kids are in bed at night. So or when they're out of the house, my husband will um, routinely take the children out of the house, take them to do something, take them to a park, you know, take them to breakfast or something when he knows that I'm kind of backed up with voiceovers. And I used to do them while he was taking the kids to school in the morning. But, you know, it's summertime is a completely different schedule. The kids are here all day, every day, and we don't have sitters. So, however, my mother's upstairs with the kids right now. So, but they're still running. You can still hear them. Oh, that's okay. LaParsha, that's okay. Um, what type of camera do I use? I actually use, uh, it's an iPhone, iPhone 9, I think. It's a phone that my husband had, and he didn't want it anymore. He wanted to upgrade to a newer model, of course. So he told me that the battery had issues. Well, it doesn't seem to have the same issues when I use it. Now, the battery does drain pretty quickly, but I just try to keep it charged. And I just do, I don't have any phone service on it. I just use it as a camera. That's it. I use it as a camera. I make my videos, the clips. I take the pictures and everything on there. And then I just plug it into my computer and upload it. A table at a craft show. You think? That might not be a bad idea. I'll have to look into that, Robin. Thank you. 
Do I write down or track projects to reference back to? No, I don't. Um, I don't. Uh, I have all my YouTube videos to reference back to. So if I have a question about something, I just pull my video up and look at it and, and just see. And pretty much, to be honest with you, I've never done anything twice. And I know what I've made. So I, I don't know. I can't remember names, right? But I can remember years worth of three videos a week. It's weird how that works. False, uh, fall table centerpieces. Yes, we'll be doing that. We're going to also be decorating lanterns this year. And I, I have never done that before. Well, not a video of that, but I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, swags and things like that for lanterns, making centerpieces for tables and stuff like that. And I'm always open to suggestion. If you see something that you think you would like for me to make, just always comment and let me know. And uh, I'll look into it. I do not use iMovie. I use, um, oh, good grief. Here I go with my brain again. You know it until somebody asks you. I use PowerDirector, CyberLink PowerDirector. That would be a cute idea. What's a cute idea? What did I miss? Right, Robin. You're like, what did I get at Dollar Tree? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, and then you find it in a box hidden underneath two other boxes of stuff that you forgot you had. Right. I'm with you on that, sister. So are you enjoying the live chats? Do we feel like we have a good pace here? Um, seems like there's a lot of communication, and I love that. Everybody's talking to each other. And that's the idea. We get to know each other. This is a big YouTube family. Um, you know, over 1,200 of us. So for the ones of us who like to get together and get chatty, it's good to know we can all get in this space together and enjoy supporting each other. Having kids help with kitty projects. YouTube is kind of strange about children's content. I don't know if I'll do videos that you will ever see the kids faces in on this channel. You may see hands, but you will never see me specifically do content for children because that's just another gray area. And my channel is really not, I'm not set up to delve off into something like that. Okay. Tammy says she loves a good live. Me too. Right. Yeah, Brittany. Um, and to be honest with y'all, I had a YouTube video many, many, many years ago and I had uh, my son on it, my third child on it. And I had just I had trolls. I mean, man, they would a troll does not care. They will talk about your baby like nothing. And I had ugly comments made to my child and I was like, but that was back in the, at a time when I was, my feelings were easily hurt. I have gained many years and much more experience since that time. And yeah, I just don't deal with that type of negativity. I won't have it on my channel. Um, no, I, no. Mm -mm -mm. And I do not deal with people being ugly with my family. I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. You don't mess with a woman's kids. Hey, Carmen, welcome. How are you tonight? Yeah, there are creeps out there. And see, that's why you and Aaron have a wrench. Because you can knock them in the head with that wrench. Mama bear, that's right. Carmen, what's for supper? Thank you, Rita. I try. I am doing great. Right now, we're pretty much, we've already been over the schedule, which is three times a week. Fall videos coming. Um, I've got a favorites video coming. And then there's a scavenger hunt coming up Saturday. Burgers, yum. We had burgers for the 4th of July celebration. They were yummy. My mom actually taught me how to grill. How about that? 
She actually did all the work. I'm going to give her credit for that. She really did do all the work. I think I flipped over the last four burgers and put them in the pan. How often I will be live? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Is this something that we want to do maybe once a month? Maybe something like that. That's right. That's right. You're right, Tammy. Pizza. Carmen, you know how to grill? That's awesome. Y'all got to know my moderators are awesome, but they are students. Both of them are, and they are very, very busy, and they're very, very smart ladies. So I'm going to try to be uh, supportive and, you know, understanding of their time, too. Oh, cool. A big hockey game, huh? You going to be ready? Thank you, Renee. Love you. Girl, I had a George Foreman grill and I used it too a lot. I even put steaks on it. That's way back before I know you do not ruin a good piece of meat on Foreman grill. Leave that to the chicken and hamburger patties. I know they're they're really good. He did a good thing making those. He really did. Oh yeah, but you can make a mean breakfast on that thing, I bet. A cast iron stovetop grill. Oh I'm envious. That may be the next thing my husband needs for Father's Day. Wink wink. Mmm, that sounds good. Oh, I love ribs. I like dry rub ribs. They're so delicious. It sounds like you know what you're doing too, Carmen. <laughs> Tammy <laughs> looks at you pitifully. You see the want to in its eye? Yum. Hey, pizza rolls are fine. They have their place. You're a college student. <laughs> okay, Carmen. So since you're the newest one in the room, do you have any questions? Any questions for me at all? Anything about the channel? Anything about what's going on on Instagram? Anything like that? We want to try to catch you up. <laughs> you should feel judged. Get out there and use that grill. My herbs passed. Unfortunately, they passed. Except for the rosemary. Rosemary is just thriving out there. And I have two accidental pumpkins. I did a post on that a while back on Instagram. You would not believe how huge they are. I don't even know which breed it is because we had, I think, I think I bought like five different types of pumpkins last year. And then we threw them all out there on top of that pile. And then something started growing and it's huge. No questions. Okay. You just stopped by to be sweet. Yeah, y'all stay safe in the weather. I know there's some bad stuff going to be going up the coast. It's not in the Gulf Coast this time, thank goodness. I live in South Alabama, so ew. Oh, Tammy. I don't do DIYs for plants. I'm really just, that's not my thing. My green thumb is, is faux. It's a faux green thumb. A short video about my huge pumpkin. I might do that on Instagram. How's that sound? Cool. We like to chat too. There's a lot of chatty girls in here tonight. 
Is my Instagram under the same name? Um, Brittany, would you grab my Instagram link, please? And drop that in there. I think my Instagram link is like, I think the name is making it my own YT for YouTube. Thank you, honey. Yeah, I could do a little pumpkin video on Instagram. I might have to do that. Might have to do that. Because it would be a surprise to see what color it's going to turn out. Right now, it is green. But I know it takes pumpkins a while to get their colors. They get bigger and bigger. But the thing is huge. I'm telling you, it is big. Thank you. She is quick. Brittany's going to be helping me with some of my advertising and she's going to be helping me with some more of my Instagram and my Facebook stuff. So she's smartening me up. You'll start seeing me all over the place. It's her fault. Blame her. <laughs> Look, I was thinking, what's going to blow up? The pumpkin? Oh, the channel. That, you know, hey, I'm open to whatever. I love doing it. I love it. And to think that I can be, well, I'm monetized now. So this is my job. This is, I sell on Poshmark too. So now I have two jobs. So that's awesome. TikTok. Eh, Y'all, I just don't know about TikTok. Mm, yeah, y'all be careful, careful, careful in Florida. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. There go the feet again, Carmen. Yep, that's my daughter. I can tell the difference in the way they walk. Isn't that weird? You don't? Do you have one and you don't like it, Robin? Is that you don't like it? You don't like the experience of it or you just just in general, you don't like TikTok? I don't ever look at TikTok. I don't have it, so I don't look at it. You know, I don't I don't use it. I don't know much about it. I think my husband has one, and I think everybody in my family has one. Carmen, you don't like it either. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there is some nasty stuff on TikTok. Uh-huh. I've seen my husband scrolling. I know. He says he, uh, what's it say? Occasionally I fall down the TikTok rabbit hole. Look, the rabbit hole for me is Pinterest. I'm not even kidding with that. I love looking at Pinterest. I have a big, nice Pinterest board. It's I've got, well, boards, lots of pins on lots of boards that y'all can check out. I have lots of stuff. Plus, put my videos over there on Pinterest, too. If y'all should follow me over there. Yeah, some of the stuff's kind of, it's kind of gross. What is it with the husbands in this TikTok stuff? I'm going to have to have him delete that. Carmen, be sure you follow me on Pinterest now. Yeah, I think there's a way if you don't like what you see, you can like, you dislike it or something. I don't know. You do something to let them know you don't, you're not interested or something like that. Girl, you're so right. Robin, you are so right. Brittany, can you put my Pinterest in there? If you can find it. I think I have every link, everything uh, linked up on my channel. Um, I think I need to go back and add Instagram to my the top of my page. I can't remember if I have no Facebook. I need to add Facebook up there. I just created a new Facebook business page. So I put all my con content over there. You know, you can tell those people who don't really, they're not really into what you're doing. And it just, I just decided that maybe putting my stuff like this on a business page would be better so that I don't feel like I'm throwing stuff out there for people who are clearly not interested in it. Thank you, Brittany. There it is, Carmen. She's got the link there for you. LaParsha, are you eating? 
I haven't seen you talking. Washing the dishes. I honestly have so much stuff over there. And if you're into uh, keto, I've got, there's tons of like recipes to try. I have a board that's got recipes to try. There's lots of ketos, low carb stuff there. And there's also some stuff there that shouldn't be there just because I want to try it. Yeah. Some Christmas and July stuff. You should definitely do that. Uh -huh, I knew you were eating. Girl, our names are similar. See, creating it myself and making it my own. I love it. Creative minds think alike. I, oops. Mm -hmm. Okay, how y'all feeling? It's been an hour. You think that you've asked all the questions you want to ask? I'm never feeling the summer. I am white, white, light skin. Do you see this? This doesn't do well in the sun ever. Yay. Thank you, Carmen. Yep. And there's my Facebook. See, Brittany's on it. There's several people who have um, like open collaborations for Christmas in July. There, we are going to be having ours. I believe it is the 10th of. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not right. I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, on the 13th of July. Mm hmm. Third Friday. We haven't posted ours yet um, for our Christmas in July yet. So we don't have anything, I think, really set in stone at this point. But when we do know, I'll share that with you. But it is definitely in July. <laughs> I want to say it's the 15th, July 15th, I think is what we talked about. But you'll see it. Remember, look at my community tab. Always look at my community tab. You'll see it. I'll try to get it advertised on Instagram and all that so y'all know ahead of time. I would love for y'all to come over there and watch and maybe even participate if they're open collaborations. I was told we should have a page or channel on all the major platforms, but I don't have a TikTok either. No, I don't have a TikTok. Yeah, don't get overwhelmed. You don't want to do that. When, when your hobby starts being a pain and it starts stressing you out, then it's no longer bringing you joy. Mm -mm. You, you can't do that. You got to make time to do what you need to do. Girl, you got it all down there. Oh, thank you. These are my crafting stations back here. This is my, these are cubicles. They're the nine on each side. And then I have fabrics and uh, small wreaths. I have rolls of deco mesh and burlap and paint and the big rolls of the deco mesh. And this is a, a backdrop that I made. And then my big backdrop is over there. And then, of course, I made that. I thrifted that. And then I thrifted all of these strings of uh, lights. And these lights are really cool. They're LED and they change color. They can fade in and out white. They are also multicolored and they can also flash or fade in and out. It's on a little remote. They're really cool. You'll see that in more videos at a later point. You fill in the ducks, huh? I know this is from a potato sack, y'all. A potato sack. Can you believe it? That right there, potato sack. 
or as we say in the South, a tater sack. runs when she walks my son not so much and she's bigger than him so her steps are heavier you, you know how it is a potato sack i'm telling you robin you should go and watch that video i made this and i made a um a plant stand out of a fryer basket i sure did it is one of my preferred videos. It didn't rank as well as some of my videos did, which is surprising to me, but you never know how it's going to work. You don't never know what people are interested in and not, but I, I love it. Oh no, I didn't see that. Um, I didn't see that. Uh, Favi, I got monetized today. I was actually, I set up my AdSense account yesterday and uh, my channel was under review for a partnership yesterday. And then today I got the final word that now I have partnership. So now I am monetized fully. I have my revenue little thing set up. I got extra bars on my studio. It is so cool. Thank you, Brittany, for bringing that to my attention. I know, isn't that wonderful? See, I'm one of the little people. I'm just a country girl, really. Honestly, I'm just a country girl with a dream. And I would love to make something of my channel, make something big of my channel someday where people find lots of inspiration and joy. I would love it. And then keep growing our community, you know, keep growing our little family here and everybody supporting each other and being kind to each other. I love that. Just like what's going over here in the chat. It just makes me so happy. Thank you, Robin. It did happen pretty quickly. Actually, I thought it was going to take longer than that, but I had an error. My old, my old channel still was connected to an AdSense, even though I don't use that channel anymore. It was still connected to AdSense. So I had to go in and delete that old account in order to get the new account because you can only have one AdSense account per person. So for those of y'all who are looking to be monetized, if you have an old channel, you've got, you got to get, cancel that out before you can get anything new. Yes, they really are. I know I'm trying. I am. I am trying. All right, everybody. It is a little after seven and my kiddos need to be getting wound down so they can be getting in the bed. I'm so happy to see everybody. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out my channel and checking out my live stream. Thanks to my moderators. You girls are awesome. I thank you for all your hard work. I wish you lots of channel growth. All you people out there, lots of channel growth. Yes, I did, Bobby. I did. I went and turned on all of those. My daughter helped me with that. Yep. It was fun and I appreciate it. Like I always say, thank you so much for stopping by. You know what's next? And I'll see you again real soon. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you for all the help. You guys are awesome. Love you bunches. We're going to try to do this once a month. I'll give you all a heads up before it happens. Wax on, wax off. Bye, LaParsha. Good night. Thank you for coming. Y'all doing a little dance too? Wax on, wax off. Good night. Bye.